Hi there, my name is Ryan Gibbons. I'm an assistant professor of communication and theater here at Arkansas State University, BB. And if you are watching this video, that it means that you more than likely have enrolled in one of my online classes, either oral communication, fine arts film, or fine arts theater. Hopefully you're all in the right place at this point. This is just to introduce myself a little bit as a professor and to talk about uh, my philosophy and my classroom and how things operate in here. Uh, this is not a, a learn at your own pace. Everything's thrown out there and you get to it as you can sort of class. I need you to be aware of that. There's a module each week. Module opens up Monday morning and it closes Sunday night at midnight. And so full credit for the assignments within that module and Sunday night at midnight. You're welcome to submit assignments uh, later via Canvas message or email for partial credit, uh, but that is all each week. And so, if that do, you think that doesn't sound good to me, then then uh, another professor's approach and classroom might be better for you. That's the way it's going to work in my classroom. I don't reopen modules. Um, I just ask my students to work along at the same pace with me. I try and offer timely feedback on the assignments that you're giving so that you hear from me. I'm not the world's fastest grader, but I'm definitely not the slowest grader, and I stay up pretty well. So hopefully you're getting the feedback uh, that you need. And there are usually, there are absolute max of three assignments per week. That's unusual. Ordinarily, there's our two. There's, a, there's one that I throw at you for fun uh, to intrigue you in the topic for the week, and then there's one to really drive the point for the week home, and that's how the class is going to function. Sort of doesn't matter which of those three class types uh, I shared with you. The format is going to be the same. Um, I know that a lot of online students really, uh, you know, one of the main ways we offer feedback is through grading and through the assignments that you're getting. Um, I just would ask that the or I guess I would suggest that there are more important things than points. Uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is focus on learning the process, um, understanding the parts of a film or understanding the process of making a speech or how a play is put on. Let's focus on the process. And if we do, I think the points uh, will work themselves out. Uh, I am looking for your thoughts. Uh, I will ask questions. I don't do group threaded discussion. I interact with my students one-on-one. -on -one. So when I ask a question, more than likely you give me an answer and then I probably give you a comment back or maybe a, another question because I'm looking for your thoughts on the subject. Under that heading, plagiarism isn't helpful um, because most of what I'm asking you in these in this class will not be easily plagiarized anyways. And I don't know that I'm necessarily looking for an, an exact right answer. I am looking for your answer. I am looking to hear you engage with the material in this class and see what you can make of it. And I think that's really important. I am for you as a student. I want you to succeed. I want you to do well. I want to pique your interest in the topics that we're discussing. I want to give you concrete skills to help you do what we're doing better. I am for you, um, and I think that you will find in my classroom that it is an open and supportive space, and that I reward those who take risks and really share their thoughts and do the work. The one thing I would ask is please don't treat this class as a box to be checked. Uh, in order to get your degree in you fill in the blank, you must take this class, and so you're going to put in uh, the very minimum of effort in order to do that. That's not how I approach teaching, and that's not what I'm asking for from you as a student. I'm looking for your genuine thoughts and your hard work. I realize that every week is different, and occasionally we all need some grace. I get that. I need that too. Every once in a blue moon, uh, the module might not open till Tuesday. I'll let you know if it happens, but occasionally, you know. Life happens and we can't control everything. And I understand that. Um, but don't treat my class as a box to be checked. Like, well, I got to take this class just to get this degree. Why don't we have fun and engage the material and see if together we can find uh, something of real interest and substance together.
Anyways, that's who I am and how I do what I do. And I am looking forward to getting to know you in this class. I do try and get to know each student personally uh, and have a better feel of where they're coming from and their thoughts uh, on these subjects. And so I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you check that um, module each Monday evening. There'll probably be an assignment due Wednesday or Thursday and another one due Sunday. So make sure you get there in there early in the week. Double check that. See what's coming down the pike. And I think we're going to do real well together. So y'all have a great day. I look forward to having you in my class.